you fueled. You can cope with life. You don't have the ups and downs. All right? You're not sitting in a meeting going, oh Christ. All right? You don't have dinner or lunch. Get back to your desk and think, oh, I need 15 cappuccinos just to get through the next half an hour. All right? You got the concept? What do we eat? I'm wasting paper. I love it. What are we going to eat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you read too many good books, okay? Let's start with breakfast. Alistair, my smelly builder friend, what do you think he has for breakfast? No, no, he's good. Bacon, eggs, sausage, toast, beans. When do you think he next eats? Four o'clock in the afternoon. Why? Because he's combined protein, carb, and fat. All right? Protein, carb, and fat have a slower release into the bloodstream. I'm not saying you should do that. In fact, I like bacon and eggs. I mean, I have really nice bacon, right? Really top, you know, organic, free-range eggs. I'm not going to eat something from a chicken that's been, been stuck in a cage and stuck full of stuff. No, 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 no. Not, 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 my, not my scene. Right? I might have some lovely wholemeal rye bread. Right? Let's, let's look at some breakfast. You can have oats, absolutely. I, oats is a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous cereal. Until you go and add sugar to it. You twits. Because what does the sugar do? Beautiful bowl of oats, slow release. Oh, God, I feel great. You add the sugar, changes the glycemic profile completely, and you might as well have bloody Kellogg's. You know, Kellogg's was a naturopath and nutritionist like me. Poor bastard is turning in his grave. He sends children to school with Cocoa Pops. Right? Can you imagine these poor kids? If I gave you all a good dose of Cocoa Pops now, all right, you'd be unruly in half an hour. I'd have to put you on Ritalin because you all got ADHD. <laughs> bowl, of, bowl of oats is brilliant, okay? With some, with, let's say, with some, with some, with some natural uh, Greek yogurt. Isn't that a nice idea? Maybe some pine nuts, yeah? And if you're going to have, have a sweetener, if you really desperately need a sweetener, what do you put in there? You can put some xylitol in. Xylitol is not, not aspartame, it's not sucralose. Xylitol is a natural plant sugar that has a very low GI profile. It comes from peach bark and that kind of stuff. It's brilliant. Crap name. A bad hair day, whoever named that. All right? It's a really good product. It's called XY. XY Xylitol, like that. It has a GI profile of around 20, where sugar's, sugar's 100. So it doesn't enter the bloodstream. It's a really good natural product if you have to have sweetener. Okay? Or another breakfast option. Okay, we've got five minutes. I'll start talking faster. Another breakfast option. Steak and nuts. Steak and nuts. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, no, absolutely. If that works for you, great. You see, there's no judgment in... He said steak and nuts. Brilliant. Fantastic breakfast for him. If I had steak and nuts for breakfast, I would be so hypoglycemic by 10 o'clock. All right, I'd jump off a building. Okay? So what works for you... It's not going to work for you. It's not going to work for you. What do you choose? What kind of breakfast do you choose? One that does this for you, people. Okay. What if you're allergic to oats? Eggs, brilliant. You can have egg, poached egg on some rye bread. How does that sound? A proper rye bread. What is, what is proper bread? Proper bread is the kind you drop it on your toe, you're in A&E. All right? It's not the kind of stuff that floats down and bounces and softly falls apart. All right? Real bread you can actually kill someone with. <laughs> so you have a, a, a nice bit of rye bread with, a, with an egg on it, or maybe a little bit of salmon. Does that sound good? Yeah. A bit of salmon. And what about some steamed spinach for breakfast? I don't like spinach. Tough. Great, great food. All right? That's a great breakfast for me. Bit of black pepper. Lovely. Bit of sea salt if you want it. You know, I'm not, not fussed about, I'm not, really not fussed about salt. If you've got high blood pressure, stay away from it. If you don't, Try and get the sea salt version. It's probably better for you. Um, but we also need some fats, don't we? We need some fats in our diet. There's a whole thing of fat being bad. I can't be that rude, can I? But no, I was, yeah, it's bullshit. We know it's bullshit. Can you imagine that for 35 years, Flora, can I say this? Sponsored the British Heart Foundation full of trans fatty acids, hydrogenated trans fatty acids. You know how dangerous they are for the heart? All right? There's nothing wrong with fat. 
Nothing wrong with it. It's when you have fat combined with sugar that you are asking for a cardiovascular accident. <laughs> All right? Nothing wrong with fat. In fact, it's a beautiful food. It keeps you full for longer. Proves satiety. Great word, satiety. We all need it. Okay? So you might want to have some butter on your rye bread. You might want to put some, cook it in coconut oil, cook your eggs in coconut oil. Beautiful stuff. That's breakfast. I don't want to give you a thousand ideas. Lunch. Always try for lunch to have a plate that's divided in half. Guess what that half is? I don't like vegetables. V for victory, people. <laughs> Chuck them in. Vegetables. Okay. The other side, try and combine protein, carb, and fat. So try and have brown rice, wholemeal pasta, bit of fish, chicken, steak, all right, and put a bit of, put of fat in there. Olive oil, something like that. Okay? You can put olive oil on your... Guys, if you need to go, you must go. Okay? I don't want to keep you and get you fired, so, so go. Um, lock the doors. <laughs> put, 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 some, put some balsamic on your, on your vegetables if you want to. Oh, so balsamic's got lots of, lots of sugar. C'est la vie. Tastes better. All right? You're having your vegetables still. Okay? Put some black pepper on there. Beautiful stuff, pepper. So combine protein, carb. So this is protein carb and vegetable that's your lunch that will keep your blood sugars nice and stable won't it you don't have to love the food every day that you're eating you have to love the effect that it has on you if you eat something and you feel a bit skew and you enjoy doing that you're weird okay i'd rather not particularly enjoy the blandness of my food but still feel clarity and mental clarity and, and energy and, and enthusiasm for life than walking around going oh that was a really nice mcdonald's all right Dinner. We talked about dinner already, didn't we? Food combined. Don't have protein and carb together. Have either protein and vegetables or carbs and vegetables. All right. We haven't really got time. Well, we'll chuck it up from Chris. If you need to leave, no one from, the, from Dublin leave, please. I've got to talk to you afterwards. So if you need to leave, go, but I'm going to throw it up into questions. Please. I'll repeat your questions here. Yeah, go, go for it. One is, what do you think about eating a protein shake 30 minutes before going to the gym? Uh, are, you, are you bodybuilding? No. I okay, mean, then you I... don't need it. The, the, the question is, do you need to take a protein shake before going to the gym? All right? Unless you are losing weight, unless you are suffering from some form of malnutrition, or you want to build muscles like Arnold Schwarzenegger, I don't see the point. Okay. I'd rather you went and had I don't eat that a piece much, of fruit. Uh, meat or fish, for example. I don't, I don't eat cheese. So I I cheese is fat. Also, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you know, remember, that if you're having your beans, you're having some tofu, you're having some tempeh, you're having a little bit of fish occasionally if you wanted to, you're having your nuts and your legumes. You're so you well. don't see the point to have a protein shake? I, I see the point if I'm, if I'm trying to sell you some, yeah, absolutely, yeah. But if I'm not trying to sell you anything, no, I don't see the point at all, okay? okay. There is, I don't understand people going into a gym unless you were really trying to cut and build, and then you're doing all the other things at the same time. You're doing really intense bodybuilding, and you want to look really cut. Take a protein shake, otherwise just eat better. Okay. okay, don't take shortcuts. And the second one is really quick. Where do you buy fruits and vegetables? Where do I buy yeah. them? <laughs> That's a good question. Eh? Because I like them, but at the same time, I don't like to buy at the supermarket yeah. because I, I know that. This is going to sound terrible, okay? Yeah. I get, we get ours delivered by a card, quite simply, but it's all organic. I will not, there, th there are probably three things I won't eat that are, that, that, three things that have to be organic. One is eggs, all right? The other is chicken, and the other is my vegetables, all right? Now, you are of a demographic, and don't, don't tell me you're not. You have a demographic that can afford the additional 20 quid a week to eat organic. All right? Just makes sense. Just do it. Organic is the normal farming method. The other is agribusiness. And I'm not interested in it. Okay. Organic is the way forward. And whether you like it or not, your body cannot cope with the pollution out there, the pollution in here, your, your Febreze stuff you put on you so you, you smell. Like that. These are all poisons for the body. Right? Just reduce the load by eating organic if you can. Don't have to filter your water, just eat organic. 